Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Happy hump day. It is Wednesday. <clears throat> and I don't know about you, but I feel like I have been burning the candle from both ends. I said that to my son the other day and he was like, what? How do you do that? <laughs> um, but I have been nonstop working. Hi, hi Dawn. I've been nonstop working on my book and we finally got it done. So um, I'm hoping to maybe get some sleep tonight. We'll see. <laughs> it's been wild. It's been a wild ride these last few last few weeks. Anyways, um, I'm here and you're here and that's exciting. So special letter today is T. I do want to take a quick moment to thank um, everybody that's been voting for me for the inked contest. I didn't intend on doing that contest again this year. Um, inked had sent me an email that said something like, we're going to start something new and we'd love for you to join and it's called inked originals or something along those lines and um, I'm like yeah sure whatever use my photos from last year and um, I had no idea that it was going to basically be the exact same thing as the cover cover girl contest was before um, so I kind of got thrown into that and then I didn't even know that that's what it was I got an update I got a uh, I got a text message from inked and they're like hey uh, you're, you're ranked number 12 in your category, da, 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 da. I'm like, what? And I, uh, went on there and looked and I'm like, oh, okay, we're doing this now. So for the first few, uh, for the first few levels of the competition, I didn't even say anything to anybody. And I just was like, we'll just see where this goes. And I ended up making it and making it and making it. And so, um, here we are, and so it's been fun, but I like the idea of doing it without any votes being bought. That way it's organic, and um, there's not as much pressure on me to, to feel like I have to win. So uh, thank you so much for everybody that's been voting, and I love it. And uh, if, if I make it first out of this round, um, there are only two more rounds. I... I know that people are really, really trying to, um, they're really trying to win so that they can get into the semifinals. So I'm sure we'll come up against some people that, that get kind of crazy about it. And that's fine. I'm happy with whatever happens. It's, like I said, it was never something that I actually am planned to do. And so, so thank you for those of you who have been voting. You're, you're fucking awesome and I appreciate you. And thank you, Kara. All right, so let's get started. Uh, Let's let's pick. Now today I pulled from three different decks, okay? So we're going to go with number one out of the angel deck, number two, the fairy deck, and number three, the guardian angel deck. All of these are um, original Doreen Virtue decks, but uh, she got out of the game and handed it all over to Radley Valentine. And so these first two you can still purchase. This one is, um, is special, but uh, yeah, so one, two, or three special letter today is T, okay? If you have a T, then you don't need to pick. Thank you, Sarah, for voting. I so appreciate that. Hello, beautiful Barb. Hi, James. Hi, Patty. Hello, Jessica. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, my next... A uh, Zoom event is coming up. That'll be October 10th, and that's going to be an interesting one because I will actually be on vacation, right? Why am I working on vacation? But I will be on vacation with my mother and my children in Branson, so they will leave the, uh, the facility, the hotel, and I'll just be doing our Zoom session there. So that should be an interesting, an interesting event. But that'll be 10-10, uh, October 10th. Special letter T's. You have your own cards, so no need to pick a number, just FYI. We do have two super badass shows getting ready to come up. Um, it is October, which is my favorite month of the year. Although 
um, I have a, a um, I'm having a Halloween party this this weekend for my children, and we've got like a hundred people coming. <laughs> Everything is fine. Got all kinds of fun games for them to play. We're gonna do weenie roasting and all that good stuff. So. Um, between finishing up the book and getting ready for this party I, and then all of my regular appointments during the week, I am just like, Bleh. but I'm here and I'm super stoked about my shows um, coming up on Freaky Friday weekend, October 13th, Freaky Friday will be at the Blue Note. If you haven't got your tickets yet, there are still some available. Please go there. I can't fucking wait to see you. Wear your costumes. Be cool. Um, then on the 14th, I'll be, we're doing our very first ever Halloween show at Moberly. And, uh, so yeah, wear your costumes. I can't, I, I hope and pray that I get to bring through a loved one for like somebody dressed as, you know, a Pharaoh or Chucky or not Chucky, Chucky, Chucky scares the shit out of me, but anything else I think it would be fun. All right. One, two, or three, if you're just hopping on here. One, two, or three. And let's see. Then, of course, oh my gosh, you don't want to miss this one. It's my annual Halloween show, the big one, the Kahuna. Um, that will be October 27th at 1 in Quincy, Illinois. We will have a food truck, a barbecue food truck outside. Um, I'll be doing my thing, and then when I'm done, we're going to have a live acoustic band, and I'm super stoked to just hang out and listen to rad music and, and hang out with you guys. Um, and I may or may not have a surprise for you. I'm not for sure yet on that, uh, but I cannot wait until the 27th, the October 27th show. It's going to be badass. Don't miss it. You want to be there. I will be there. You will be there. It will be awesome. Okay, let's read these cards. Okay, so if you picked card number 11, I mean one, it's 11, I was super excited to bring this card up because um, I think the way that I'm interpreting this is a little different than I have interpret interpreted, um, I have my trays in, can you see, I can't talk, uh, it's a little different than I usually interpret um, uh, Major Arcana number 11 which is the strength card. This card's all about releasing harsh judgments, forgiveness and compassion, finding great, uh, great inner strength. But I think what a lot of people forget is when we, when we see this card, it's not necessarily talking about, and inner is like the word here, it's not necessarily talking about physical strength, it's talking about inner and emotional, mental, um, you know, stamina. Being able to put up with um, whatever it is, whatever the situation is that's going on, without um, without being an asshole. So basically, you're being asked to have to deal with whatever the situation is uh, that you're dealing with with complete and total compassion. Okay, I want you to put yourself in their shoes, wherever the issue lies, whatever the issue is. Um, put yourself in their shoes and. Um, and uh, release your harsh judgments. Try not to think, because you know, as humans, it's so easy for us to say, well, this is how I would have done it. Um, but until you're actually in that situation yourself, you don't really know or understand how um, someone else might react. So uh, yes, great inner strength is what you're being asked to have. I also want you to pay attention to the number 11. Uh, so November, maybe uh, a month where you're gonna get some clarity. So pay attention to that. All right. Number two, six of winter. If you picked number two, this card comes as a beautiful light at the end of the tunnel. This card's all about positive change coming your way. Um, a welcome, welcome into troubled times. Sometimes this card can also be about taking a, a trip, traveling, relocating. This was a, the card that I picked. A lot of times I'll um, tell myself, okay, this is the number that I'm gonna pick for, you know, for today and so this was the number that I actually picked was card number two and when I pulled it out and saw that it was all about traveling or, or has something to do with traveling or relocating it made me giggle because like I said on Sunday I am leaving so uh, for a vacation so anyways number two comes as troubled 
uh, troubled issues being in your past. This card is all about positive changes, good things about to happen if they haven't already. Um, for some reason, I feel like I want to also bring up, and this isn't in the card necessarily, but I'm feeling it intuitively. If you pick number two, um, I want you to consider, sorry, I'm getting a download right now. Okay, that was weird. Uh, if, if you pick number two, I want you to consider that um, this may also be about leaving a job. Uh, so maybe you're considering leaving a job and getting into a, a, new, a new one, or um, you're waiting to find out if you're going to get said job. Um, I don't know, I just, this, this, uh, the download I just got was they're going to get a new job. <laughs> so it's going to be a good thing. It's going to be positive. Um, and, and it may not apply to everyone. This may just apply to a few of you, but uh, positive change is on its way. So regardless of whatever it is, I would be very happy if I got that card. And I did. Okay, card number three, another major arcana card. Super awesome. This card is number 15, the freedom card. A lot of times we'll see this card when um, we are boxing ourselves in or telling ourselves there's no way out, I can't get out of this, I'm trapped, and that is so not the case. Um, try focusing on a different situation. Try focusing on a different path and uh, leave the negativity behind. This card's all about all you've been focusing on is how shitty you have it or how bad it is or how frustrated you are or how stressed you are or how you're never, ever going to get out of it. Uh, whatever the situation might be. And this card is like, sometimes you just, you got to say, <laughs> I, I, there's a meme that this card makes me think about. And um, maybe some of you have seen it. It is the meme where there's a donkey with a lead, with a, um, with a rope, you know, that you lead it by. And it's tied onto a, a small plastic chair. And it's like, Sometimes you just have to move that small, like, like we could literally blow that chair over. I mean, give me a break. It's you are, what you're attached to, um, what you're looking at as your block can so easily, so quickly, and so effortlessly be moved um, that it's like you've made it a bigger deal than what it actually is in your mind because it's, it, it can't be that easy. It just can't be that easy. Just removing it, walking away from it, choosing a different path can't make it that easy. Well, I'm here to tell you, your guides are here to tell you, and this card is here to tell you that it truly is that easy. Just choose a different path. Focus on the positive. Turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless possibilities of, um, of places that you can go, people that you can talk to, solutions to this problem. There are tons of them and you're just not thinking about it. And today I'm here to tell you it's way simpler than you think, number threes, okay? All right. For my letters today, number T, I mean, wow. I said I was fucking tired. Letter T. <laughs> Princess of Summer. This card is loaded. Uh, when I get this card, I'm always like, are you serious? Because I know that I'm probably getting ready to go through some shit, or I already have, or I'm about to. Um, a lot of times some people, I'll, I'll see other tarot readers take this card as being mundane and not a big deal and, oh, it, it just might be an invitation to something exciting, uh, a new experience. That's what this card means, but they, it means so much more than that. And I'm going to break it down for you real quick here. Um, I feel like this card has something to do with you needing to be more gentle with yourself. I feel like you're going through a very sensitive, emotional experience right now, and I feel like you need to be, um, you need to hold more compassion for yourself. Here's what I want you to do, letter T's. If you are going through something, um, or about to go through something, because maybe you haven't done it yet, but if you are experiencing an issue or a situation where um, you feel like, you feel like the world is against you, or um, you're just all up in your feels, I'm here to tell you, be gentle with yourself. And I want you to think about if your best friend or the person that you love the most in the world was going through whatever it is that you're going through right now, how would you deal with that for them? How would you help them? And then I want you to give that same compassion 
um, that same love and, and connection to yourself. Okay. Oh, Teresa, I'm so glad. When I first pulled this card, I thought, no, it can't be that easy. Funny enough, I just said that, right? But I said, no, it can't be that easy. There's more going on to this than, than meets the eye. The other thing that this card can sometimes mean is there is a new emotional relationship getting ready to start. Now, does that have to be a lover's relationship? No, that can be um, a resurgence of a regular relationship that you've always had that kind of went downhill. That can be an old friend coming back into your life. It can be, um, you know, you and your mom, you got into a fight and now you're back together and, and everything's good. But there's a compassionate friend behind this card. And whether that friend is supposed to be you or somebody else, uh, I want you to give yourself some, some, um, some kindness and some gentleness. And I want you to tell yourself you love yourself. I want you to pretend today, and it might be kind of hard, but I want you to pretend today that if you are a letter T, and you're getting this message right now, I want you to pretend that you yourself are the one person or persons or animal or animals that you love more than anything in the world. And I want you to show yourself that same kindness and compassion and appreciation and love and guidance uh, and, and give yourself the exact same thing that you would give to those that you love more than anything in the world. That's what you need to know today. And I pulled a clarifier card for you and interestingly enough, it was the heart chakra. Now, if you don't know anything about chakras, heart chakra is the heart chakra. It's exactly what it sounds like, but it's also the love chakra. It's the center, the source. It's what we, um, I say this all the time. It's my favorite quote, and I always fuck it up, but it, it's, uh, it is in love that we appear, and it is in love that we disappear. So just for a split second, get back, get heart centered, get back to where you're at and uh, be a little bit more compassionate with yourself. Okay. And you may also need some heart chakra alignment. So you can probably find something, you know, like a guided meditation or something like that um, on, on YouTube, because more than likely you definitely have a, a blockage in your heart chakra. Okay. You guys, I, it is my favorite month. I am so fucking excited. I know that I probably look and feel just exasperated, and that's because I am. <laughs> but uh, I cannot wait to see you guys soon at each one of these events, and um, I'm going to take the next two weeks to just relax and uh, rest and get ready to give you guys the best fucking mediumship shows you've ever had. So you guys have an amazing rest of the day. I love you. Thanks for chilling with me. Thanks for being here. And I hope you got something today. Have a good one.